well, I think we need to get this out of the way and address that not super work clip that they showed last night. Were you embarrassed? Like, just be honest with us. No, I don't get embarrassed about anything. You saw me throughout the whole, the whole season. I was doing things that are a little out there. I was fully myself and loose with the whole experience. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was odd for sure, but let's just go with it. But okay, so we do need to talk about because shortly after your time with the sex love guru, whoever she was, we saw yeah. your journey on The Bachelorette and Taisha ended up sending you home in the middle of your one-on-one. -on -one. Were you surprised? Were you shocked? In the moment, I was 100% shocked that she did it uh, at that time and after the great day that we had. Going in, I, going in, you know, I was a little hesitant because I knew that she connected stronger with other guys up to that point. And so, you know, it was a 50-50 going in, but I knew that if I, we really connected on that date and it, that date ended up being very deep and very meaningful and we connected well. So I was like, wow, like, I think I turned this around and I think I'm actually going to get a rose out of this. And I think I can get to hometowns and maybe she'll take a risk on me here. And uh, unfortunately it fell a little short. So yeah, in the moment I was shocked looking back on it and seeing how it all played out makes sense how she navigated it. And uh, I think that's why too, in the moment you saw me uh, kind of console her and stuff at the, at the limo, she was distraught. You could tell it was hard for her to make the decision she made and I didn't want to make it harder on her. So I just kind of consoled her and, and went on my way. No, I was going to ask because watching that back and seeing her get so emotional, especially after you leave in the car, she's sitting down, she's crying. It's actually the scene that was teased throughout the entire season and it ended up being when you left. How did that feel for you to watch that back? Yeah, you know, it's weird because, you know, I don't like to see anybody cry and that's why, you know, I, I brought that up at the mental, like I you hate hanging on that that thought or that image that you're the one that do that. But at the same time, it was, you know, it's, it's a good cry in a way. It makes you feel like, okay, your connection was real. Connection was, was, was there. Um, and it made you feel good that um, she felt that way. And I don't think you're going to shed that emotion if she didn't. So in a way it makes, it just kind of like wraps up that our connection was there. And um, it was hard to watch, but you know, it's, it comes with the territory of being on this show. Things are so intense. The emotions are so intense. The scenarios, the situations, and um, I didn't see it coming um, to the degree that in which she got emotional. But um, um, it's kind of a good feeling in a way to know that the connection is real. Now, were you actually falling for Tasha? Were you falling in love with her before you were sent home? <sighs> I wouldn't say that I was falling in love. No. Um, was I falling hard for her? Yes. Um, it was an organic, it was more of an organic, um, true connection that was coming in comparison to the one with Claire, where I convinced myself before I even went to meet Claire that she was going to be the one for me, just like she did with Dale, right? I, I knew it was going to be Claire. And for four months, I saw how serious she was taking things. I listened to her on podcasts. I listened to her live stories. I, and I could see the emotion, the way that she would speak and how much that meant to her, that guys were going to be there for her and dive in. And so I did that. I invested. And I was like, I'm not going to be the one that goes into this season knowing full well who it is and disappoint. And so um, in a way that kind of hurt me, I think I wish I had done it a little bit more organically in a way with her, which also would have maybe set me up a little better with the Tasha thing if I wasn't so in on Claire in the beginning. But, I, you know, no one knew that was coming. So I don't regret doing it. Um, you know, I, I wish that I also went in as hard uh, on Tasha like I did with Claire, but it just, you can't make the switch that quickly. And, you know, our connection came slow. I told her it needed to come slow. And I'm just happy she gave me the time that she did because she didn't have to keep me around as long as she did. But I think she saw uh, some things and they just came around a little slower and that sucks. But um, wild experience being dumped by two girls at once on the same season. You know, it, wild, yeah. I, I have nothing to say to that because it is a wild experience. But speaking of Tasha and Claire, Tasha said during the men tell all that she put some walls up because after you told Tasha that, hey, I'm just still really into Claire. It's going to take me a second to get over that and to really dive deep into this journey with you. So tell us, how long did it take you to get over Claire? Are you over Claire? 
Yeah, yeah. So I, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely over clear. It, um, it came pretty quickly and you'd be surprised by that. I, I think, you know, when you start to become experienced in life and you're on 30 years old now and you've been through a lot of breaks, breakups and things. I went through a relationship really early in life where I got so hung up on an ex and um, she didn't give me the time of day and she let me go. And I was so hung up on her. And I promised myself that I would never again waste an, an ounce on the past because ever since then great things and great girls and great girlfriends have come from that so if you're not going to be given the time of day on something move past it even though I convinced myself that she was going to be the one for me the energy and stuff wasn't that great in real life and so Tasha came in gave me an opportunity was this uh, uh, breath of fresh air it was a no pressure situation I kind of felt like an underdog in a way with nothing to lose let's see if we can make something of this uh, and we started to um, and it felt good because then I started to relax. I could like be myself and I loosened up a bit. You know, you see me with Claire, I was so tense. I was so tense all the time. And then Tasha yeah. came in and I was just loose. I was loose and I was fully myself. And I'm so happy for that because I don't think you would have saw that if it st stayed the way it did with Claire. And now the whole world kind of knows all sides of me. Uh, Tasha said that last night too. So I'm happy that the way it played out, even though it was absolute chaos for a while. Now, speaking of Claire, I just need to know your opinion. I know you were shocked when Dale and Claire got engaged at that moment. You were pretty vocal about it. How do you feel now? Do you think they will make it to the altar? I, I do. I think so. You know, you have to be optimistic after seeing the way they connected in real life. Um, at the time, no. Yes, now. <sighs> And, and seeing them now, like just living their life on social media, you, everyone's, you know, kind of following along because everyone's so curious, just like you're just asking me, do you think? It's a big question. And um, it's, it's a valid question because it was crazy and, you know, how short it took for them to get engaged and leave. But they're proving that that connection is strong still. And I feel like that's not going anywhere soon. So um, I think they can get there. I hope they do. Uh, I, you know, she made it very clear that she's ready. She knows what she wants and it's her time. And I hope that, um, I hope that it is this time. Okay. So what about Tasha though? We have four guys left. Who do you think is going to win Tasha's heart at the end of this? I have to say, I have to say Zach would be the one that probably gets there in the end. Um, if she's looking for a man, I think that seems to be the, the clear cut choice. Um, they all bring different things to the table. I don't think there's one guy with the complete package and I don't think she's, you can tell like right now, she doesn't know what she really wants to do. I think she likes certain things about each guy, but who has the thing that she's looking for? I, I don't know. I got to think that at this point it's Zach. I think she really likes things about Brennan. She likes things about Ivan. She likes things about Ben. Um, I don't know. Zach just seems like he's the most, really, really invested and ready being 36. Um, life's fully there, put together. You just, those things connect the dots for me. Now, let's say, this is all hypothetical, of course, but let's say she does not end up with Zach. She doesn't end up with anyone. I mean, we've seen bachelorettes in the past, this happens. Would you hit her up? Would you say, hey, Keisha, let's, let's try things again? <laughs> yeah, you know, <sighs> I feel like you know the answer to this in a way, just because of the way that kind of ended in the, you know, the connection came too late type of thing. She didn't necessarily say, hey, you're not the one for me. And that I, and that I had all the connections, all the things she was looking for in a man. So uh, yeah, like I, you know, I'm still super into the person that she is. And like, do I think there's potential there? If we tried, yeah, sure. Uh, I've moved past it now, um, but whoever, whoever knows down the road, something happens and she's not, why not? I mean, I was super into her that, that image of her and the way that she is will never leave my mind. I always think the best of her. So uh, I'd have to say, yeah, of course. Okay, last question, because I just really need to know this. Yosef, why, why? Yeah, like, I know, why? right? Like, he, yeah, he's given it out and he just didn't take it. I mean, he believes in what he believes in, whether it's, you know, we all think it's wrong. Uh, when no one, no one was on his side as he saw the men tell all and everyone was really, really giving it to him and he still didn't back down. I mean, that's the only thing I'll give him, but <laughs> uh, he's in some hot water now. Um, I think he knew that was coming, but 
we gave him an out and he didn't take it. So, you know, I don't feel bad for the guy. He kind of dug his own grave in a way. 